going to start really old but it did a good job in its time Nasty. Do not let the sun be deceiving. It's still horrible today. All right, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm not sure what sort of footage I'm going to be able to get today because the house is one of those houses, if you know what I mean. Um, <clears throat> I've got two fit hive control, boiler, etc. Be getting a few of these lately through my plumber, so shout out. Um, got quite good at them now. They're, they're not very hard to do. Thermostat, um, wireless receiver, and the hub. Easy, okay. Uh, the hub basically just replaces um, the programmer, okay? So um, if you're not very good at heating systems, pr I suggest you print yourself off, so go on the internet, this is a flameport.com, and then you can print off, so this is a three port valve with a vented cylinder, and then you'll have um, two two port valves uh, on a unvented, and if you've got a three port, don't quote me on this, three port with, a, with an unvented cylinder, you need to have a two port installed so the, the tank can't, uh, back feeding over boil okay i'm not an expert on heating systems but controls i actually do quite like so today i'm fitting i like those wago ones but I, I didn't have time to get one so i'm fitting a sailors yeah they're all right um because someone's just done the classic double box with a hundred connectors in it and you can't make head and a tail so i'll have to strip it all down i'll take loads of pictures um, and what i do is um in in all the in all the manuals that you get they give you a wiring diagram for that specific uh, there's a Y plan and there's an S plan, okay? So a Y representing a valve with three ways and um, an S representing two two ports, basically. So that's the wiring diagram. So what I do is I'll keep all these in this little folder, which is quite handy. That's a little tip for you, okay? So put them in there. First thing I want to show you is um, I picked up a new drill. Um, it's the 18 volt brushless with just the rotary um, and the hammer. Um, but what I do like is the rotary stop with because um, if you've got a little box to chisel out you don't want to get the big drill out this is uh, this is awesome so I picked one of them up with the um, chisel action on it so I'm looking forward to that it's heavy the other one's really light so if you've got a, uh, you know some holes or a light to fix up high but this is the one I'll use for quick chiseling out um, and also I just want to touch on a quick um, a quick thing from my previous video I think it was Andy Kerwan I might put a link somewhere to their name and um, somebody else, Rob String Stringler or something, uh, they said about why don't um, you you apply diversity to the ovens? Which I do apply diversity to the ovens, and you said, oh, you could have used that 10 mil and used a, a dual connection plate. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, obviously, we have three things to go with. We have to go with the manufacturer's recommended um, thing, and it was a six mil per item. Okay, um, and also the kitchen layout. Um, great you can use a dual um, plate um, but I just want to stress that the hob was over here okay and the oven was over here so I'm not really happy putting a dual plate there and wiring all the way around so I, I, I've now sent the client a quote and he's accepted so I've got to go and rewire both of these because he's not happy with the amount of joints that the previous electrician put in that 10 mil cables basically three joints in that one cable okay um, and, and that's it I didn't really explain it myself so you might have jumped to conclusions me not knowing what I'm doing obviously yes you can apply diversity to ovens and hobs etc but just bearing in mind there might be that one day of the year when um, Mrs um, Joe Bloggs has everything on and it might trip the 32 amp breaker or the 40 amp breaker that you've got it on so I'm putting in two supplies um, for those two items okay so first I'm gonna empty the van and then I'm gonna head to the job and I'll get you some pictures might even do a walk around maybe we'll see okay
from the start, really old, but it did a good job in its time. Right, I'm now back in this cupboard. I've sorted the boiler out. So basically there's a few spur in the kitchen that does the boiler directly on a flex and then it comes up in this one mil. So this will be our feed up to our new um, wiring centre up here. That's the old free coil that can be cut that goes to the old thermostat and that's the old free coil that went down to the boiler which was like a control cable just in case they mounted the old programmer uh, down there. So yeah, so basically, look, that's nice and short. So I'm gonna have to try and get this wiring centre mounted on the angle here. Um, and the pump's short, so I have to rewire that pump. And then I'll, I'll, um, I'll show you a picture anyway. So basically just gonna follow the wiring diagram, connecting the pump here, the um, three port valve, the feed um, to the, um, this is the feed, so this is gonna um, do all this equipment up here. And then we've got to incorporate the tank stat and then the new hive hub, okay? This is the wireless receiver hub that I was talking about that you've got to mount close in here. Obviously it's quite tight with the pipe work. Um, and then these are the override switches. Um, if you don't want to go down, you can just override. I'm not sure if they do it for an hour anyway. So this is gonna all be mounted in here somewhere. Well, I've just stuck a new flex on the pump, that's simple, one screw out, live neutral nerf, jobs are good one. So what I'm going to do, I've made a decision, I'm going to have to put a new cable on this. This is wired into here, you can't um, actually disconnect these, so I'll have to put a Wago junction box on here, extend this. Luckily the previous bloke has got a big enough flex for it, okay, black flex. And then I've made a decision, I'm going to mount this gubbins down here. Um, because it's just ease of ease of wiring for me and this box just doesn't fit anywhere this doesn't fit anywhere look it's just i don't want to cover the pipes i don't want it to look like a dog's dinner so basically it will be sat down here one two okay something like that not not entirely sure yet but i'll cut the carpet up and mount this straight onto the um wood wooden panel that's underneath and a um, bit of chipboard. Right, so the wiring centre is getting mounted on the floor and the wireless hub receiver is getting mounted here. I don't want it to get pressed because um, it's got buttons on it. I don't want it to get pressed accidentally on the floor. Um, I'm on the iPhone today, so apologies for the poor quality, but if you haven't got yourself a set of these CKs, I got asked um, what they were, the automatic wire strippers. They are fantastic, okay? Even great on flex as well. So just a little update, all I'm gonna do now is get all my cables to the relevant places and then I'll work through and connect them individually. So I'll just work through my paperwork that I've got here with the hive and my generic drawings. I'll just get it all working, programmed up. Um, yeah. And and sorry, that that that's I'm going for the dual channel receiver, okay? If you've just got one of these on here, then you'll be going for the single channel. And then it's slightly different, but you literally link that permanent live to the common and then you have heating on, heating off, okay? I'm not really sure what to call this video actually. Um, when you see these adverts, Hive, and Nest, etc., they always make out it's a complete swap DIY job, but when you come to it, it ain't. It's, it's horrible. Um, it's never as glamorous as they say it is. <laughs> right, essentially, I've only just stuck that on. I've still got to flag up the browns. Phone's ringing, isn't my phone. So that's it basically. Obviously don't connect the bits of rope, they just need cutting out, because they won't actually do anything. Right, now the phone's stopped. Yeah, so basically, these are all the cables that will be needed. And I've obviously, look, I've mounted it here, it's easy for me. I put that plate back on, extended the um, feed that's gonna be coming into this box. So I'll just talk you through what we've got. This is the tank stat, this is the feed, this is the motorized valve. This is the controller here. And this is the pump. So all I've all got to do is whip out my 
instructions and just follow that basically. Obviously if you're fitting a hive, there's a few things that you could ignore, like room stat here, um, basically because, my finger shaking, basically because it's wireless, um, it just sends its signal to here and then you have the heating on, comes down on um, the cable that you denote here. I think I actually put it as the yellow, I think it was. So I'll flag that up brown, but yeah, there's a few things that you can sort of forget about. But you'll, once you work through it, it will, it will all make sense, okay? When you completely doubt your ability to do anything and then you realise that the actual tank stack was knackered. Thing. Been scratching my head for ages with that. Right, oh, it's working now. Poxy thing. Wow, that was an absolute bloody nightmare. Um, I was a bit sceptical whether to put this video up because I'm probably going to get slated by a lot of people. Um, but at least I was man enough to put the video up. I haven't edited anything out, okay? So yeah, we had a faulty um, tank stat, a cylinder stat there, that was, um, <laughs> took me an hour and a half to two hours to work it out. I went methodically for everything. And uh, yeah, the, the tank stat was making it run constantly, basically, so the bloody thing was knackered. Quickly nipped to get a new tank stat, put it on, Bob's your uncle. And another thing, Hive Technical. Um, I don't know if you've ever phoned them, but they want you to have an account and the woman would not listen to me. I said to her, look, I haven't got an account with you. I've just installed the Hive and the client's going to set up an account, but he's an elderly gentleman, so he's not going to know what you're on about. Can we just go through technical? She hung up on me, so I phoned back and I got another lady and she was absolutely good as gold. Um, yeah, so there's a procedure where you can reset the receiver, put the batteries back in the thermostat and it found it straight away. So. It's a little bit annoying why the first lady couldn't do that for me. She wanted me to set up an account. Um, anyway, so that's another job done. Um, the plumber's just phoned me actually today. It's actually, two people have just phoned me in the last 10 minutes. He's got another one for me to do. He said, don't do it if you don't want to. I said, no, mate, I uh, don't mind. It's, I'll do it. Um, but I'm busy already, but I will do it. Um, you don't want to leave people without any heating. Um, and a lovely lady that I do work for has just phoned me to say her, her channel um, a dual controller is just packed up so I've probably got to go and find a time to do that but not today so anyway I'll uh, I'll see you on the next one take care